Well, my apologies, I've finally got around to doing this video. We hired our Land Cruiser from Bushlaw 4x4 and we thought it would be useful to give you guys a little taste of our experience. We were picked up from the airport and driven to Bushlaw's headquarters where we were given detailed overview of the car and its accessories. Once the paperwork etc was completed, we were on our way to Marikele for our first night in a rooftop tent. There I found that getting into a rooftop tent is easy. Getting out? Not so much of a simple task. Guys at Bushlaw 4x4 are really knowledgeable and they show you exactly how to open the tent, use the high lift jack and if you've hired an awning, how to open and close it. The vehicle comes equipped with everything you need. It may be basic, but you don't need much more. You get two sleeping bags, pillows and towels, so all you really need to bring with you are your clothes and camera gear, although a travel mug and a torch would also be handy addition. We hope that this little taster of the whole process will help answer some of the questions you may have and we would definitely recommend them as a company based on our experience. Right, right then, a bit of a uh, rundown on the vehicle. It's a uh, Bush Law vehicle, as we've already said. It's the Toyota Land Cruiser. Um, you wrote this just to try it out, so we know what we're doing in the future. Um, it's got more stuff on it than we actually require, but it was good to just see how it handled. We This one does come with a winch six tires um they always look new they've been cleaned up before they come out we have seen a few little chunks and bits and pieces on them but all in all the vehicle runs very well it's very thirsty though it is very thirsty uh, i haven't worked out the actual um kilometers per liter but it's it's not a lot um rooftop tent Excuse the mess, by the way. It's an easy on jazz tent. It's it's adequate. It's fine. Uh, I wouldn't recommend for a long journey, but it is adequate. You can get your bed in there as well. Um, this is must excuse the mess in here. We have a forty liter fridge kitchen area with mainly four of everything even though there's only the two of us and it's set up for two people 
kettle's rather dinky. That's quite nice. Plenty of knives. Another fork set. Uh, these uh, beakers are very nice. They are very nice. About pointing that at the actual beaker. Uh, good for tea and coffee up here. Um, everything's well worn. We'll be honest. Is well worn. It's been used to move from one vehicle to another. The vehicle itself is new enough. Um, but the problems we have got is some electrical problems. This place needs to be uh, rewired. I had to do a little bit of a repair up there because I had live wires. It's only 12 volt, but nonetheless. So yes, there's uh, works in here. So the electrics bother us. Those two lights, we've got light there and light there, don't work because of this connection. We have a lot of problems with the fridge. But I've spoken to anyone who else had a bush law vehicle and no one else has said they have a problem with their fridge so i think we've got a electrical problem between the second battery and uh, the fridge basically it won't stay on uh, it will start bleeping at us soon saying it hasn't got enough charge but when you stop the car it says it's fully charged so i don't know what's going on there it's beyond my expertise plenty of space big double door Sorry, big door at the back with a big wide drawer. Pl fit plenty of stuff in there. Diesel, it's probably a hundred litre diesel tank. Uh, we got the awning, so we could have somewhere, but it's just not doable, uh, to be honest. Not doable to do on my own. Uh, Izzy is quite a bit shorter than me and putting it away is a pain it really is a pain um, the batwing type 270 awnings are obviously better they can be done by one person this is a two-person job yes that can be done uh, between the two of us but it's putting it away there's a lot of fiddling putting the legs in and i'm five foot 11 i can just or well, just under five foot 11 i can just touch this but i can't see what i'm doing uh izzy can't even well she can touch it if she's on her tippy toes one thing that could definitely come in handy is a set of steps it may sound silly just a little hop up to get us up to the height of the wheel it'll make putting the tent away easier because at the moment i have to climb on the roof to do bits and pieces maybe taller people don't have to but uh, we do so that's a little bit of a, a pain and a set of two or three high steps would be perfect um, these are all learning curves this is why we hired the vehicle in the first place excuse the mess inside um, lo lovely width um, the console itself, which you can't really see because it's kind of surrounding cameras, is actually very small and is original. It's very small for the vehicle, considering how big the vehicle size is. But that's something that could be changed if we were to buy one of these. Then with the back seats, again, excuse the mess. Towels are used to keep the heat of some of the camera equipment and uh, biscuits there were for eating her usual sort of set up bits and pieces for everything give you a fire extinguisher which is kept in there anything that you would need there's no shortage of equipment there's a few nice abs as you would like a tape potato peeler because when i put peel them they too much of the potato gets taken away but uh no it's a comfortable enough ride i was a bit worried about what the seats would be like Again, this is why we uh, hired it. Bushlaw's service when we took over was absolutely fantastic. They picked us up from the airport. Um, obviously, we will go back and report these uh, electrical issues we've had with the vehicle. But their service up to us hiring the vehicle have been fantastic. We haven't contacted them since to report these electrical problems because what are they going to do about it? We're out here, we will take it back. 
Um, yes, that is pretty much it, to be honest. Excuse, as I said, excuse our mess. It's, it's a nice vehicle to have, to be honest. You are very high, and if unfortunately, if you're short like my wife, you do need a set of steps to get into the vehicle. But um, and a set of steps seriously would be handy for putting the tent away and definitely if we were to use the awning but it's got a nice turning circle considering the size of the vehicle thank you so much for watching we hope that we have been able to give you a little bit more information based on our experience when hiring a vehicle from Bushlaw 4x4. We will soon be off to Agullis and our own little piece of heaven, the Khadi Khadi Transfrontier Park. We hope you'll be able to join us then. Thanks to all our subscribers and thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye!